but you don't hit it um over the ramp. You shouldn't really. You just hit it through here and it like just goes right through there. See? Like it just goes right through there. And that's how you get all the hole once on that hole. And then here's this one. See? You got number 14. Okay, you hit over that ramp, and all these rocks in the way, that big one, and then it holds right behind that rock. Um, a lot of, a lot of times, like basically all the time, the ball always hits this giant one, and then just bounces out. But a lot of times, you do get a whole one. This one, 15. You get three choices to put your ball on, because you need three because... This you can get you can go through this log and you couldn't get that from the middle. See that's like kind of a bad angle. And then this one, see that log? I've actually I actually saw that log and I'm like wow, with like that ring around it, that'd be perfect to drill a hole through. So it took me a long time, but I eventually drew a hole through there for the golf ball to fit. And then it goes it's because like the hole is just as big as a golf ball, so it's pretty hard to get in there. But there's been a lot of times people gotten it in there from the tee. And then it just goes through that pipe in the middle one. You can just basically hit that. If you want to put it in the middle, you can basically hit it to like anything. If you want to hit it anywhere. And then see the pipe will lead out right to that hole, right behind the pipe. And this one, this one's pretty cool. My friend, my friends who actually who helped me do my golf course, my friend actually helped design this one, and then we made it what it is today. So, you just tap the ball really lightly off this and it goes down this ramp. And then, it'll like run on these, on one of these three, like little lines here. And then, if you're lucky, it will go through this hole. And then go up that ramp and then go in. But if you miss it, then it just like goes back down over here, because like on a hill. So it just stops right there. And if you keep hitting it, it's not going to go into it. You have to hit it to the side. And then... Oh, you just hit it in from there. This one, this one looks sort of like the one I made in 2012, right in this area, number 17. I don't have a flag because I lost it from last year. Um, so you just hit it off this green and then it goes up this big ramp. And then, okay, so, and this is like, in case you miss the ramp, you can just go over here. And then the ramp leads you out here, and if you hit it too light, I put this here so it just rolls down instead of like going in that little ditch inside there. Which is out of bounds. Bounds, whatever. And then, see, how you get the whole one is it bounces on one of these pieces of wood, and then it'll go in from there. So you can go over that ramp if you want. Bounce on one of those. Goes in from there, the hole. Right there. Okay, last hole. Everyone loves this thing. You can hear that water. <laughs> okay, this one took me a few, like uh, probably a week to make. It took me a while to make this hole. This hole is just unbelievable. Like, I'm surprised I actually did this. Like, I just, like can't believe it. So you hit it from one of these three T's and it goes through there and yeah those you can go in either one of these two like little holes with those tubes inside there. This one leads you on this side this one leads you on this side and then this one goes through these logs goes out through there and hits the flagpole and goes in. And see, you have all, and and if you go with one of the other first two tubes, you have to, then you do have to go around. But it took me a while to position these logs right here for the ball to roll, like really nicely through. And then I have all these little plants, all making it look really nice. And no, these are not real lily pads in the water. So look, you can actually have some fish in here. See, look. So here's the waterfall, really nice. And then, wait, the fish high and the rocks in the middle. I'll get them, see? 
They all hide in there. There is nine fish in here, but they all hide in that one little spot. They don't want to come out. I'll make them come out. See, there they are. There's a big one right there. Some more. There's tons of little fish in this pond. Okay? And I also have this nice feature, like a little boathouse. It's not, it's not filled though, but I need to fill it because I ran out of boat seed. And then there's some plants down there. And this, all this little green you see, that's from the bird seed falling out of here. And it started to grow on some plant. I want to see what it comes up to be. So, now we're off to the bonus hole. Which this one, I had thought of, which is really, really cool, I think. Okay, bonus hole. If you get a whole one on the bonus hole, you get a free ticket, even though if you, if you even if you didn't get three whole ones on the entire like, course. Well, if you get three whole ones and you get one on this one, you get like two tickets, free two free tickets. But so you hit off one of these three tees, and it like pachinkos. It hits these tees, and then goes down into one of these tubes. But it only a lot of times it goes in the, on these two tubes, and it gets in the hole. It doesn't count. It has to go in the middle one. And it goes right in the hole. See, isn't that cool? See? And look at the bottom. All of the T's are sticking out. And what this, in the wood that I put this green on, this way right here, like all with this, this wood, that is actually the counter from 2012. Well, actually, actually, well, actually, on the 2012 video, I actually um, had a different counter, but then a few weeks later after the video, that thing like broke, so I had to get a new one, and that's the, and that was the counter. So you don't want to go all rotted out. But oh yeah, I forgot. We got this really brand new, nice table. See, look at this. It's really a nice table. And we I just found this on the side of the road. It said, take me. Like, <laughs> it was free. This this was like a like around a $200 table if you go buy it like from a, to a, from a store. And see, I got all my clubs with the nails on there so they can't move because the wind used to always knock them over. And then, yeah, I got all my golf balls. And then inside this, I didn't show you this. I have all these tees in case I need to repair something. I have all colored tees, but I don't really use those. And then, so, that's really the golf course. But I'll show you what's inside our club, oh, inside my, like, clubhouse. Okay, so. There's like a map made out of green right there. So, what basically is, this is just where we like, um, how it kind of, this is where we put all the stuff to take care of the golf course. So, inside this is like little vox, which you might have seen in case, like on these, like in between the rocks and the last hole, that's where they are. In case like sand gets all of them, whatever. Like, get all messed up, then we just put new ones there to make it look nicer. And then, this bucket of sand should be filled, but since the golf year is almost over, I'm just gonna not refill it yet. Cause that, I use, cause I wanna use it, I, well, I wanna use it all up and put it until the end, when the golf course gets put away, for ne and make a new one next year. But I use the shovels to repel, and so I have sand right here, so I, I can repel anything whenever I need to. Like, a piece of wood falls and it won't stay up, then, um, I just used the sand to repair it right there. And also, I have a new feature this year, which I also forgot to tell you. I have, I came up with this idea. I have, wait, let me show you a better angle. Okay. Like, on some of the wood, I have these posts that stick out of the wood, and they go inside the sand. So, and they're six inches each. But those things are expensive, so I don't have that many, but I do have like a lot of them. Um, the next year, all the wood will have that, so nothing gets knocked over. And see, it does not get knocked over. 
really cool. So back inside of the clubhouse. Um, I just had decorations of golf balls. No golf balls on jeans. You might remember that from 2012. That was like the seashore ocean hole. And I just have, and this was a sign from last year because I had new signs this year on the street. And then this, I just made that up. That was never on the golf course before. And neither was that sign. I just made that to look to make it cool in here. And I had this sort of decoration, more golf balls, and all my, these are all my friends, and I give them money, like when they come, um, they get, like say if they come when I'm not even here, then they, um, they, when they, like, they fix the golf course, so they smooth or whatever, because I smooth the holes with these paintbrushes, and then, yeah, I just kind of wake and do Zen Sand, if you saw that, and then, this kind of like a pamphlet, Oh, like the thing that keeps us all on track. See, John's mini golf and it says who people are walking with. Just like golf balls and make it look cool. And then you open this. Okay, see, this is, this is like the schedule. And this is when people buy stuff down. Like, at different caggles, like, if you can see it. Like that, when it says move, that means smooth because you can't really see it. And then sand, fix problems, wake. Etc. You would like write it on what day it is, and then you would um like write it what category you did, and see one of my friends came actually, and then I give them money for the comp to come like comparing to what they have done, and then on the back oh wait this is actually what we, this uh, actual schedule. See, I tell people my friends when to smooth it, what day. Like, if needed, if it rained, then you have to smooth it this day. Like, so I have all that. And this is my, and that's my manual thing. And I have that piece of paper there, which is just John's Vinny Golf. And there's an extra paintbrush right there. The pencils, so they can write. So they can write it. And then... Yeah, and I have some just like decorative golf clubs hanging on the wall. And how where we get the sand from? It all gets from a stream goes through here and it all gets washed down to the field see like that white stuff down there. It all gets washed down, so I get the wagon and bring it all up in like one big load. It is very really heavy. <laughs> it's really tiring to bring it up though. And then but also my friends, I make them just like just take a shovel down there and just do a shovel by shovel and when they walk up through here, they would always track so much sand. Cause it's not their fault, but it all just falls off the shovel and it's all over the floor. So then I came up with this idea that is really cool. Oh, wait. I'll set it up. Hold on, I'm going to put this down for a second. Wait, I'm just like, I'll just hold it down. I don't really care. I'll just put it right now. Set this up. I came up with this, I came up with this little neat thing right here that actually helps when, um, when you're, um, like picking up the sand or whatever. Like, so they don't have to track it and yet somebody just stays in here and then, so what they do, so here, let me show you. There's this bucket. And then the, like this kind of like the string, like the pulley system. And then, see I put this bucket down here. Well, actually I, I can loosen it up and make it go all the way down there. But then, I'm going to leave it here though. And then, well actually I can loosen it down there. And see I just put it down there. And then they put the sand inside there. Just walk up there and just pop it in there. And then... I will pull it up. I I would just pull it up and then I just pick it up and then just dump it right in the thing without even even spilling spilling. And that's a cool little thing that I made up. And then I also have decorative like. And this is the ball we use to test the tubes to make sure they work or not. Like decorative little T's here. And this is where I keep my free tickets. 
and then so that's kind of it I'll just show you I'll just I'm just gonna um like put the balls in the tubes real quick to show you Okay, first I'll start with the um, bonus hole and show you it like the tank going down. Okay, there we go. See, that time I didn't get in the middle. And then, yeah, I'll just try it one more time. One, well, people don't get in the middle all the time. It's like oh, kind of like a one out of 30 shot, you get it in the middle. Up, oh! Oh, did you see that? I don't know if I, I don't know if I showed that, but it just went straight in the middle. <laughs> cool. Hole in one. Okay. Now I'll go on to number nine and show you it going inside this tube. They're just spiraling and they'll go right down. Oh, oh, oh no. Sorry, I'm really sorry. It did not come out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Never mind, it's right there. There's just a little bit of sand right there. I'm sorry about that. Try again. Yep, whoa, straight in. Woohoo! And then, last hole. I'll show you put in the tubes. Wait, hold on, sorry. Got messed up again. There we go. There we go. And the last one. Oh, oh man, I'm so sorry about these tubes not working. They usually always work. I didn't test them today. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, one more time. There we go. Straight in. There we go. So, that's basically John's mini golf. Yep, that's basically it. Hi, I'm John. What's up? So, that is John's mini golf. Oh, one more thing. We also have night golf with that light right there and it turns the whole entire course. Show you the whole thing where you can't really see because of the sun. People just walk up through there, up from the road. There's also a sign on up on my driveway too. And a lot of people come. I've made over a hundred bucks so far. And it, oh, yeah. Like, I tear it down right before school starts. And I start it during spring break. It's really, really cool. I did this, I did this all by myself. All my dad does is cut the wood if I need it. It's just really cool. And then I store all of my wood underneath here. And that's extra from, I, I didn't use all that. It's actually, I have a lot of work. I just, this is all trash. I go around, I just go around my town and I see how many people throwing away wood or anything. I'm like, hey, I can do something with that. Like, I knew when I saw, hmm, let me think. I knew when I saw, um, those, like, when I saw, like, these logs that the ball goes through for the last hole, I knew that would be perfect for this. And I also knew that this, like, I also knew that, oh yeah, the cinder block, that would be perfect because it has the holes in it and the ball can go right through there. And then, yeah, like I showed you at number 12, like those little cool shaped um, logs. So, yeah, I knew, a lot. I, I want to see stuff, I always think, and I know, hey, that would be perfect just for this. And, like, I just, it's all trash. I just make it into something so beautiful. This mini golf course. And show you the signs. If people want to walk up, they don't just go straight inside here. They have to go around that way to go to the front. So, that's basically it. This is John's mini golf. 2013.